Poseidon is a monitoring, forecasting and information system for the Greek seas. We monitor the Aegean and the Ionian through a network of 10 oceanographic buoys that collect data every three hours and send them through satellite here at HCMR. We use this data uh, as well as other data from global networks to make forecasts for the next five days through numerical models. Forecasts of winds, waves, currents and biochemistry. And then it's an information system because we use all these products to the benefit of the end users. We deliver them through mobile telephony and through internet to a large user base ranging from people who work at sea, people from the maritime industry, people from fisheries, from aquaculture, as well from uh, the general public that has any kind of relation uh, with the sea. People usually get the data through our web page and uh, we have uh, an increasing number of, of, of users today we have more than uh, 700,000 visits uh, to our internet web page. And this number has been growing for uh, now 10 years. Today Poseidon is uh, almost uh, up and running for 10 years and during this period we have managed uh, to continuously improve, upgrade the system uh, so we can deliver better and more products to our users. And the new project, Poseidon 3, is exactly about that. It's about adding a new component uh, to, to, to the observing system. For the first time, we will uh, deploy a deep sea platform uh, at the bottom of the Ionian Sea, uh, outside Pylos. one of the deepest areas of the Mediterranean Sea and it is there at 2,000 meters when in about one month time we are going to deploy this platform which is now being developed and it is at the final stage of testing. Through this system we will be able for the first time to uh, gather data from this uh, environment and get this data in real time right to our desktop from the 2000 meters uh, through the surface uh, buoy through the satellite system right here to HCMR. The system will be equipped with a number of sensors ranging from uh, physical, chemical, uh, optical sensors as well as well as sensors for tsunami detection and so we will cover again a range of applications we will be able to study climate change effect on the deep sea and it is there when you can really uh, measure if the sea is warming we will be able to study the uh, carbon cycle and to see to what extent the deep sea uh, can absorb uh, carbon dioxide and all the uh, and other greenhouse gases and thus reduce the effect of climate change. We'll be able to study the effect of uh, small earthquakes uh, which are very often in this area and how they are connected to gas releases since we will be measuring methane concentrations. And last but not least we'll be able to detect tsunami uh, and uh, alert, uh, contribute to the alert system for the Mediterranean Sea. The Ionian Sea, where the deep platform will be uh, deployed, is one of the most, uh, probably the most tsunamogenic area in the, in the European Sea, in the European seas, 
can settle in the Mediterranean. So the platform will be uh, strategically be deployed in this area. It is a very challenging uh, uh, endeavor, and uh, but we are confident that we can uh, really have the system running and, as I said, deliver in real time data from the deep ocean right uh, to our uh, systems and then through the internet to all our users.